hi guys what we have been waiting for for a very long time is finally here and now Ohaneze is describing the situation as very very shocking as they were not expecting what just happened of course we've been hearing about the supreme court you know going to you know sit on Mazinam Likano's case today and now it has been said that the Supreme Court judgment is shocking. Of course, everyone do want to know what the outcome of the Supreme Court decisions is on Mazinam Dekano's case. Well, we would like you to see tight as we go into the full details of the news to see what is actually happening. Welcome you again to Everyday Affairs. Welcome you to today's news. Still on Mazinam Dekano's case, we would like you to like, share, and also drop your comment via the comment section. According to the news, Ohaneze describes Supreme Court decision on canon as shocking to review judgments implications. According to the news, the Apex Ibo Social Cultural Organization Ohaneze Indibo Worldwide has described the decision of Nigeria's Supreme Court nullifying the judgment of the Court of Appeal that ordered the release of Inandi Kano as shocking and unbelievable. Reacting to the judgment on Friday, the spokesman for the Apex Evil body, Dr. Alex Obonaya, told Sarah reporters that Ohanese will review the judgment of the court and come up with its frame position. Ohanese's spokesman, who spoke on the telephone, said that the court cannot approbate and reprobate. The court held that the government's adoption of canon from Kenya was illegal and that the same time and at the same time said it should face trial, which means the government will benefit from its wrongs by this judgment. But as I said, Ohanese in the will certainly meet and digest the decision and its comp you know and its implications to Southeast security and the well being of its people and also come up with its decision and position on the trial of Kanu henceforth. Kanu is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, which is calling for the independent state of Biafra following what the group described as the systematic marginalization of the southeast region by the Nigerian government. Sahara reporters reported earlier that the Apex Court on Friday voided the judgment of the Court of Appeal that ordered the government to release the IPOB leader from detention. Though the Apex Court, in its unanimous decision by a five-member panel of judges, in a panel of justice, pardon, acknowledged that the Nigerian government acted unlawfully when it forcefully brought back Kano to the country from Kenya. It, however, held that it was not enough to stop the trial court from continuing with, you know, with the case. It held that no legislation in the country stripped the trial court of its jurisdiction to go ahead with Kano's case despite the government's unlawful action. The court also knocked the trial court for revoking Kano's bill after he escaped to save his life following the invasion of his home by the security agents in September 2017 which led to the killing of some people in his house. The IPOB leader, who was first arrested by security agents in Lagos on October 14, 2015, has been detained by the Department of State Service DSS since June 2021. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? We would like you to share that with us via the comment section on this that has been said. Just like we've had earlier, Ohanese described the Supreme Court decision on Mazanam Dikano's situation as shocking and promised to review the judgment's implication on the Southeast residents. What is your own reaction to this? We would like you to share that with us via the comment section on what has been said, Ohanese will review the judgment of the court and come up with 
its firm position. That is what has been said because the same Mohanese is describing the decision of the Nigerian Supreme Court nullifying the judgment of the appeal court that ordered the release of Inam Dikano as shocking and unbelievable. Why will the appeal court order a release of somebody and the Supreme Court will nullify the person despite the fact that they admitted that the rendition of Mazen Amdikan from Kenya back to Nigeria was illegal. Now they want the Nigerian government to benefit from the trial of Mazen Amdikan with this their judgment. That is what Ohaneize have said. What do you think about the present situation in Nigeria? Do you think the Nigerian government and the Supreme Court is doing something right? Do you still believe that? Nigerian government and Simon Ekpa are probably working hands in hands against the release of Mazin Amdikano. Well, we would like you to drop your own thoughts with us via the comment section. But before we go, let's see what people's reactions is on this. Rifle, although reacted to this and said, Can news persecution will surely end in praise and to the glory of God, divine justice will prevail over human. That is what has been said. That Kano's case will end, will surely end in praise and worship. It will end in glory. What is your take to this? Justice will prevail over human and Biafran will laugh last. And that reaction from the king man saying that more hold him, more, you know, the more they hold him, the more they make him more a hero. At the end, Biafra will come. The more they hold on to Inam the Kano, the more they are making him a hero. And after everything, Biafra will come. That is what the king man have said. What is your take to this? Different reactions from different people. A lot of people still in support of Mazen Amdi Kano, just like we've heard from Biafra, also reacted and said, Now, nobody can hold IPOB responsible or guilty for any eventuality. The world is our witness. What is your take to this? The world is also witnessing the present situation of things in Nigeria. The world is witnessing what is happening as uh, the court of appeal, you know, discharge and acquit in Amdekano. But yet, the Supreme Court of Nigeria is working against him. They are together on it, but time shall tell. This is another quick reaction, you know. This is another quick reaction from Wakuba, who have said that they don't know the implication of this they are doing. They are together on it, but time shall tell. Nigeria must go down because it's not a country. What is your take to this? We would like you to share it all with us via the comment section. We would like you to let us know your own you know, stand on this present situation. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel.